In this video, I will introduce you to MLA, which stands for Modern Language Association. This is the format that we will use for our essays in this course. There are different formats, such as American Psychological Association, or APA, which is typically used for psychology, as well as Chicago and Turabian, which is typically used for history. In the humanity disciplines, such as English, we typically use MLA format. It's important to use a specific format to provide consistency and style in a given field, which makes it easier for a reader to navigate and comprehend a text through familiar cues that refer to sources and borrowed information. And one of the major differences between MLA format and APA format is that with MLA format, we use parenthetical citations, which means we put source information in parentheses, such as in this example. Whereas in APA, jump over here, notice that there's a title page, which we don't have in the MLA document. There's no uh, last name before the page number. The page number is to the left and not the right of the margin. And to scroll down a bit in this paper to show you how a source or borrowed information appears. So we have, for example, here, the number six, which matches down here at the end of the page as a note, as a footnote or an endnote, which is a major difference from MLA format. In my humble opinion, MLA format is much easier to use. We don't have to create any footnotes or endnotes. We just use parentheses. So focusing on this example, this is an already formatted paper in MLA format in a Google Doc. Please note that you'll begin by adding your last name and page number as a header, which means this is at a one half inch margin, followed by your name, your professor's name, the course, and the date. And this, the student's name at the left margin, is at the one inch margin. Next is the title, which is centered. And please note that the title should not appear in any special print, such as bold, italics. The font shouldn't be larger or smaller no underlining. It should look the same as the rest of the font and the print throughout the rest of the paper. And please note that the entire document is double spaced. And that's basically it for MLA format. Scroll to the bottom of this paper to show you the works cited page. So a works cited page is a list of all the different sources that you specifically mention in the paper in alphabetical order. This is different than a bibliography. A bibliography includes everything you looked at, even if you didn't specifically refer to it within your paper. So with a works cited page, you're only going to include source information that you specifically refer to within your paper via a direct quote or a paraphrase. In the next video, we'll discuss how to set this format up in a Google Doc. And that concludes this video. Thank you.